It's a poignant portrait of courage and compassion. 23-year-old Marine Sergeant Nicole G cradles an Afghan child fleeing the Taliban. She posted the photo with the message, I love my job. Six days later, Nicole was gone, the victim of a suicide bomber, along with 12 other brave Americans. Her sister, Misty, says she was fearless. Some of the last things that she said was, I love being here. This is amazing work. Her heartbroken father spoke to the Today Show. She's my hero. She's a warrior. She's just my baby. The father of 31-year-old Staff Sergeant Darren Hoover is also speaking out. And they would have followed him through the gates of hell if that's what it took. And ultimately, that's pretty much what he did. The flag-draped coffins of the 13 fallen were met at Dover Air Force Base by the President and First Lady. The Bidens also met privately with grieving loved ones. There's nothing you can say, nothing you can convey to ease the pain and to ease uh, what all these families are going through. But he was honored to be there yesterday and to, to be able to spend some time with the families. But one group chose not to meet with the president, the family of 20-year-old Lance Corporal Riley McCollum. I spoke with his father and sisters. So did you avoid the meeting with President Biden? My daughter and I did. We just avoided it altogether. I stayed with my brother's wife to look, to look him in the eye. and. I had to leave. McCollum was going to become a dad in just three weeks. A Marine lieutenant colonel issued this extraordinary public condemnation of the Pentagon top brass for their handling of the crisis. People are upset because their senior leaders let them down and none of them are raising their hands and accepting accountability or saying we messed this up. Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Scheller was relieved of his command after posting the video. On Sunday, he posted another, this time wearing civilian clothes. I'm resigning my commission as a United States Marine, effective now. And this remarkable tribute to the fallen. Across America, many bars are setting up 13 beers, one for each of the heroes who paid the ultimate price in the final days of America's longest war.